Somebody tried to convert me to Christianity in my own home. How would you handle this situation? For the last couple of weeks, my apartment complex said, we're going to replace everybody's countertop, so be ready for it. Week went by, nobody showed up. Then finally, there was a knock at the door, and it was a very nice El Salvadorian man. He didn't speak much English. I don't speak much Spanish. He thought I might after he was replaced, starting to replace my bathroom countertop. I went to move my electric flosser. I turned it on, and it started spritzing all over the wall. That's what she said. And then he, I said, lo siento. And he said, you speak Spanish? And I said, no, I suck at Spanish, even though I took four years of it in high school. I didn't retain anything. And so we started talking through Google Translate a little bit. He asked me if I like working from home. And I said, yeah, I love it because I'm a fucking introvert in so many words. And then he said that his home country of El Salvador, a lot of people were working from home because the pandemic was really bad. And he said something to the effect of, thank God that they get to work from home. And I just kind of smiled and nodded. You know, that's fine. I don't care that he said that. But then he said, I'm very thankful for Jesus that he saved us and that God allows us to live another day. I could have just let that slide. That's my nature. I'm a very non-confrontational person. But if I don't draw the line at somebody trying to tell me about Jesus in my own home, where do I draw that line? So we went into a roughly half hour conversation via Google Translate about God and his reasoning was very circular. It kept coming back to the same thing. I was like, why should I believe the Bible? And he would say that it's the word of God. And I would say, well, why do you think it's the word of God? And he said, because it says so in the Bible. And any question that I had, he would always come back to the Bible. When I asked him things like, if you would have been born in India, do you think that you would still believe in the same God? And he said, yes, there's only one God. And I said, but there have been thousands of gods throughout history, and many people in the world believe in different gods now. Are they wrong? And he said, yes, there's only one God. I don't think he really expected me to push back the way that I did, but every answer that he had was always about the Bible. And so he refused to actually listen. That wasn't the point. He didn't want to listen to me. He didn't want to have a conversation. He just wanted to tell me how I was wrong. He said that God told him to speak to me. And if I had to guess, I would say that God probably tells him that about every single person that he installs a countertop for. I told him that I used to be a Christian, but then I realized that I didn't have any good reason to believe anymore. And he said, see, you used to be a Christian. You know that you really believe in God. And that pissed me off. I said, well, that's just your opinion, which he didn't seem to like very much. But you know what? Tough fucking shit. Not everybody believes in your God.